Well, uh, you know, they talk about, oh, prejudice, prejudice. We couldn't ask for any more better school in Ohio because there was Chinese people, colored people, Mexicans, Puerto Ricans. It was all mixed up, school of it, little everything. So my kids grew up learning how to get along with the other, which I'm glad, you know. They can't say, well, we're Indians, they're not treating us. But they could be treated any better. You know, they treated everybody alike. So here in Spirit Lake, then, uh, how old were your kids when you came back? Uh, see, I think about 9 and 10 or 11, so around there. A lot of school still. Yeah. yeah, but it was so difficult, but Devil's Lake wasn't as modern as this. They, don't have, they didn't have Walmart, Kmart, and all that. They just had a few stores. So once we went into De Devil's Lake, like it was 13 miles, we had to buy everything. Well, we were in town before coming back. It wasn't like when we lived down the street. There was a grocery store right down the street, and we lived right in the city. And we had a camp, a camper out of the campsite where you know we went and spent the weekend there. The kids were able to do what they wanted. It was so funny. My daughter asked my husband. She said, "Oh, she said, Dad, are we going to go camping this weekend?" He said, "Just go put your sleeping bag outside underneath the tree. That's outside." <laughs> <laughs> but it was hard trying to get used to living back here again because everything just seemed like it was so inconvenient. In the city, everything was handy. You walked to the grocery store or anything you wanted was right there. But here, once you got to town, you had to remember to get everything or go without it, you know? Mm -hmm. um, when you were a little girl growing up here, what was, what was it like? Well, let's see. At six years old, I had went to, they had a boarding school at St. Michael's. I went there and we uh, stayed there till Christmas. We'd go home for two weeks and then we'd go back to the boarding school. It was run by uh, Catholic nuns. Mm -hmm. And it was kind of hard, you know. Do you want to talk about your experience there at all? Well, there was a lot of bad experience and, you know, good experience, you know. Because the nuns had strong control over us, you know. Um, and did you attend boarding school all the way through? No, until I was, uh, must have been till about maybe the fourth grade. Then they had, you know, the, the, they closed the boarding school up. They had buses that took back and forth. And yet there, we just lived about maybe well, like you would say, maybe six blocks from the school. But it was this country, you know, we just cut through the woods and we went to school. Mm -hmm. It was about the same distance to walk into the highway. At least there we walked through the woods. It wasn't so cold, you know, to, we didn't have to stand out the road freezing, waiting for the bus to come. Sure. 